Greetings humans, today on Exploring Limitations, we're gonna take a pedal that I haven't really used in 20 years and play every instrument into it and see if we can make music with it. Here we go. The Boss Bass Synthesizer SYB3. I do believe this was the second pedal that I ever bought, which is a synth pedal. And it again, goes along with the inspiration of Flea in my life at the time. The old me saved the box and the original receipt from Motor City Guitar. I tried to use this and I just didn't know how to get a good sound out of it. But now we're gonna pull it out and we're going to figure it out together. Come along with me on this boss pedal bass journey the sounds. Before I go plugging this into drum machines, keyboards, and guitars, let's learn the sounds as they were intended on this bass. There are 11 modes. Luckily, it's not that complicated because they break down into three major groups. Modes one through seven are an internal sound mode. Modes eight and nine are a wave shape mode. Modes 10 and 11 are Tiwa. Instead of using my words to explain it, let's just use our ears. Let's start with mode one. It's a sawtooth sound. That's some pretty good sustain. These first seven modes, there's like an internal synth engine and the bass acts as a trigger. You can't play chords into it. I'm just playing a C, uh, a C and G, you know, power chord for all you rock stars. But as you can hear, it does not track chords. That is the case on these first seven modes. So with that being said, this is the sawtooth mode. So let's play with a couple of knobs that we got going on here. Frequency is this little, little bitty knob and that always under any mode controls where the cutoff ends or begins. As I go up, you can hear it going higher. See there, all the way counterclockwise, it's starting much lower. And resonance is the, like in a synth, the amount of filter being applied. All the way counterclockwise, barely anything. Sorry for your ears. We have this sensitivity and decay knob. So fully clockwise is a long decay. Yes. Ah. Middle, middle of the road. And then all the way counterclockwise. That was a little bit of overview of the pedal and on mode one. So let's run through these sounds a little bit quicker now. Here's mode two. Mode three is pretty fun because it is a modulating wave. The next mode is a sawtooth plus an octave down. Okay, these next three, five, six, and seven are like the first three, but they add noise. We'll see if we like that noise. Mode six is the square wave plus noise. Mode number seven might be my favorite. Yes. All right, these next four modes are a little bit more, I would say, usable. You can play chords through them. This one is called wave shape going up. Chords, finally. This is mode nine. Mode 10? The final mode is that, that same sound, but going the other way. Yeah, so ow, ow, instead of wah, wah.
Those are the sounds of this pedal. Let's get to track one, drums. I've got the trusty TR-8 here. Off camera, I did come up with a beat and I'm gonna show you what it sounds like dry and what it sounds like wet and then we're gonna record it and we're gonna see what it, what it sounds like. Yeah, it's a nice uh, punchy kick. Now let's bring the effect in. Yeah. And then we're gonna record it and we're gonna see what it, what it sounds like. Yes. Man, drum machines through filters. I'm probably late to the game, but man, it is a great combo. I'm gonna move on to the next instrument, track two, which is what? Track two. I think I wanna do keyboards for this. Right behind me, you see a funny instrument. It's Eric's old keyboard. I'm just sending it into the bass synthesizer, nothing else, and it's going into the Roland Jazz Chorus, and I did give that a little bit of reverb, but that's it. I didn't put any modulation on there. That signal's being recorded by the Bayer Dynamic M201, and that is coming back into a preamp and into the DBX compressor and hitting track two. <laughs> This is the sound that I dialed in with the keyboard. Here is the unaffected sound. A very soft piano sound, right? Let's check it out. It, it dies off real quick. So that kind of forced me to come up with a part that was, you know, uh. Track three, bass. Bass. Bass, bass, bass. Yes. Track four, guitar. If I haven't made it clear yet, this boss pedal does have a hold function. So when you play one of those synth notes in modes one through seven, it'll hang on to that note. And I've decided to, in the first section of this, go for that and then and then play a melody on the way out. All right, that's guitar. Last thing to do is to mix it. All right, I'm so committed to the idea of only using this pedal. We've got four mono tracks. So with the keyboard track, I kind of just want to give it a little bit of stereo thing. So I'm going to send that out into the bass synthesizer. I'm going to pan the original keyboard track and I'm going to bring that back in and pan the other side. So there's just going to be keyboard on one side and whatever we dial in effects wise on the other side. Let's try to dial in one of the other modes where there's still some <coughs> semblance of harmony. <coughs> 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 It's very aggressive. And then let's hear it in context. Context is everything. All instruments through the boss SYB3, a weird pedal. It was fun to do this exercise, really committing to just one pedal. What do you think? Thanks again so much for watching. With that, as always, is peace and be good to each other. Yeah! Yeah!